Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we're going to be talking about the Bluebird Bio BLUE summary for the 9th of October 2023, in which we're going to be looking at the bullish and the bearish parts of its upcoming Padufa and just kind of going all the overall information about it. So I generally follow Small Cat Pharma. I do games. I do kind of what I like. So if you like what I'm doing, hey, please like and subscribe and make some comments. It helps, it helps me out a lot, and thank you. Uh, disclaimer is currently I do not have a position, but I will be looking to enter into one before the Padufa. I'm an amateur investor, and any advice given should be followed up by your own due diligence, and any information given is valid for today, the 9th of October, and the slideshow will not be updated. However, when new news comes out, new slideshows. Right. Okay, so the investment th thesis on blue. So based on the market cap, around $330 million. That is at the stock price at 308 The company has a chance to enter into a larger market for sickle cell disease, which has about 20,000 paid. Okay, so 20000 is not a huge amount, but ICER, the Institute for Clinical and Economic Review, says the price can be between $1.35 and $2 million to and be cost-effective. So when you're looking at 20,000 patients and you're looking at a drug that sells for a million or two, all of a sudden we're looking a little bit different here. So uh, the big potential pitfalls for this, and we got to talk about that, is another government shutdown. We're going to go over dates or approval and endorsement of the competitor. So there is another drug out that is for the same thing, CRISPR uh, Pharmaceuticals. They will be doing theirs a little bit earlier than ours. They have a little more to do. However, ICER, again, did give a better rating to Lovacell than Exocell, which is their drug B+, plus to C++. Plus plus. So that should give us an advantage, uh, especially since the dates, as we're going to find out, aren't that far apart. So, of course, important, important dates that we have. So the 20th of December is the Padufa for Lovacell. That's what we're going to be looking at. On the 8th of December, they're going to have the Padufa for Exocell. That is the competitor. Uh, the 17th of November is going to be a chance for the government shutdown part two. That could have an impact on the Padufas. We're going to have to watch it. That's just how we're going to have to play the game. And then the 31st of October, which is coming up, is the Exocell Adcom. So that's going to give us a little bit more information about that advisory committee or Exocell. Um, this is their first drug. They want a uh, obviously a ad count for it. I don't know if it will hurt or help us, unfortunately. So, but we're going to put that on the calendar. So, my overall thoughts on blue. So, if you've been with my channel for a while, I have held it. I've made some money. I've definitely sold some shares, and I've just kind of sat this out. Um, so, the company spends too much cash and really has not gotten the sales or speed to bring the current therapies to market. However. The company should have a good head start for the sickle cell space since they've already gone through the initial setup for their previous drug. So even though the sales and speed for their two current drugs maybe has been lacking, um, obviously they're, they're going through the, all the processes, going through all the motions. This is going to give them a good heads up over any competition that they're going to get, especially since there's only a, what I say, 12 days. You know, it's not enough time that they're, one company's going to be on the market and just crushing it. So, um, one of the bigger negatives: the company will be on track for operating expenses to be around 250 to 400 million for 2024. Um, I mean, just looking what their current, uh, what they currently sell, there's not a lot of clinical trials that will be ending. So, of course, it's going to stay fairly high. There might be one or two. Uh, the company's revenue for the second quarter of 2023 was seven million. So you can obviously see at that point that's a lot of money that they are don't have uh, so the company will continue to lose dilution they have done that a lot they don't seem to be very they, they just don't care there we've, we've seen it a couple times and we probably will see it again if they cannot get those sales uh, the largest thing keeping my watch list for the stock is that a one million dollar price point for the treatment you don't need a huge amount of patients to break even so again we take we look at the worst case scenario of that 400 million for operating expenses and the company gets 400 patients out of 20,000, well, they, I mean, that's pretty good. That's that's what you have right off the bat is that you're now a breaking even company, you know, with other drugs in your pipeline and stuff like that and other drugs already on the market. So again, it's it's one of those really hard risk reward, but again, can they get that, that many patients? Or do we need another round of dilution and we're looking at 2025? So, uh, so the... Company's next earnings will be around the 6th of November, 2023. And of course, I'm going to revisit the company at that point to see how the ad com went, uh, the chances for the government shutdown. And of course, just looking at the sales and uh, figures for Bluebird. 
you know, obviously that's going to be something that we're going to look at. If we see an, a much bigger increase in sales, it's going to make me feel a lot better that this company can bring this drug to market successfully and quickly. With increased sales and other positive news, the companies might move into a more active phase in which I recommend buying, buying more. So, however, for the moment, I'll be looking at those January 2024 options for a good risk reward like up. And that's really kind of what it comes down to. I, I can't say buy the stock now. I just don't have the faith that the company is going to sell that much. And I, I really do think they might need another dilution in 2024 to get to 20. Now, you know, obviously, we're going to keep actively looking at it. and we're going to keep kind of figuring out, hey, is this working? Is this not working? And that's all we can really do. So, hey, thank you very much for watching and listening. I hope you have a wonderful day.